Within two hours, you are going to get a text message if it's negative. This is a pop-up testing center at Dalhousie University in Halifax. The federal government has sent more than 15 million rapid COVID tests across the country. Nova Scotia's top doctor says using them has helped it stay a few steps ahead of the virus. That rapid surge in testing allowed us to, I think really was a key part of, along with tight restrictions, allowed us to get a hold of, of this. That's because the rapid testers encourage everyone to get a test, even if they don't have symptoms. And if you wait for people to come and, and develop symptoms, you're gonna miss a lot of people. In some hard hit provinces like Ontario, getting the traditional PCR test often requires symptoms and a long wait for the results. Although it's the gold standard, many doctors say all the provinces should make more use of the rapid tests as a first line of defense. While a rapid antigen test is not as accurate as the laboratory based PCR test, uh, a rapid antigen test is certainly better than no test at all. That way, people who test positive can be quickly isolated to stop the spread, then get the PCR test to double check. Although Nova Scotia is ramping up, it's used just 15,000 of its 300,000 rapid tests. Alberta has one and a half million, but has only deployed 12,000. They're using them in places like hospitals and homeless shelters, but only on people who already have COVID symptoms. So far, Ontario has used less than a quarter of its four and a half million tests. It's deploying them to remote communities, First Nations, long-term care homes, and workplaces. Many experts say schools are another place where rapid tests should be used. Next week, Quebec is starting a pilot project to see how well that works. Nicole Ireland, CBC News, Toronto.